all right now let's start with the about section begin with the comment about section begins then about section ends then create a section tag then write id as about then class as section hyphen padding a section tag defines sections in a document such as chapters, headers, footers or any other sections of the document and this section tag is new in HTML5 it was not there in the previous version of the HTML or in simple word we can say section tag means that the content inside it is grouped that is relates to a single theme and should appear as an entity in an outline of the page whereas a div tag on the other hand does not convey any meaning aside from any found in its class language or title attributes and this id as about is the same id that we have used in the navigation link for the about link so that when we click on that about link in the navigation bar this part of the website is going to be scrolled up or down depending upon the position of the website currently opened in the viewport so create a div tag and write class as container then get inside and create another div tag and write class as row then get down and create one more div tag and write class as call hyphen md hyphen 6 paste text hyphen write so this will write align the text and this call hyphen md hyphen 6 will make sure that this div tag will get the half of the available width of the screen then get down and create a h2 tag and write class as title hyphen text so this is going to be the title for this section then write meet space break tag that is br then create a span tag and class as decorate so we are using this decorate class again to give this text that cursive font style then you can write your first name within the span tag and then the rest of your name outside the span tag then get outside the h2 tag and then the div tag and since we have used col hyphen md hyphen 6 so half of the screen width is still available so create a new div tag and write class as col hyphen md hyphen 6 so that totals up to a 12 which is the total width of the screen then write text hyphen left so this will make sure that the text is left aligned within this div tag then write div tag and class as about hyphen text and let me just copy the text from this example page you can write any other text that you like and one more thing while writing codes it will be better if you use indents so that you get an idea where the tags are closing all right let me paste close the p tag and then write another p tag here change the line by creating p tag and writing m percent nbsp semicolon this will change the paragraph change the paragraph down below also then create a ul tag that is the unlisted item then write class as about hyphen list then create a li tag and write any dummy text then copy this entire li tag and paste it two times all 
all right so this completes the HTML part for the about section and now let's move to the CSS let's start with this section hyphen padding class like padding as 60 pixels top bottom and 0 pixels left right refresh alright write hash about this is the id for the about section write background url img forward slash then we are going to use this image about hyphen banner dot jpg space no repeat then background hyphen size cover then margin hyphen bottom as minus three pixels all right refresh now let's style this title hyphen text class padding zero space 25 pixels space zero space zero so this will add 25 pixels of padding in the right then border hyphen right as 5 pixels space solid space hash be2525 this is the hex code for the red color so this will add a red line next to the title text then font hyphen size as 24 pixels all right then dot about hyphen list space li this will style the li tag inside this about hyphen list class then write padding as 5 pixels top bottom and 0 pixels left right then font hyphen size as 18 pixels and also you can observe that while this about section is opened in the viewport the about link in the navbar is displayed as the active one let's style this p tag inside this about dot text class like color as hash triple four let's minimize this and we have completed the about section as well now let's move to the portfolio section where we are going to create the thumbnail images 